these have been gorgeous ways to start our day. I know, I get to chat with you and we get to talk about perimenopause and share all the joy and the deliciousness that we have on our course, on our program, Perimenopause Unwrapped. And which closes tomorrow. Which well, closes the enrolment closes. The enrolment, sorry. The enrolment closes tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Um, and one of the things that keeps coming up, a perennial question, is how the hell can we rest when our lives are already stuffed to the gills with busyness, with activity? And it, you know, rest basically is is a magic, is absolutely magic for menopause, for perimenopause symptoms, both the physical and mental kind. And I observe in my clients and in our participants that symptoms always improve a bit and sometimes a lot and occasionally just disappear from having more rest and doing less. And as soon as I mention this, people go, <laughs> how? How, in how, the hell how the hell does this happen? That? So this is what we're gonna talk about today um how we can integrate more rest into our lives in a way that is sustainable and that you can commit to it's real that is that real life brings yeah. you into your real life and not just a, a theory that two of us are going on about that feels completely unreachable yeah in kate kate and leora la la land rest <laughs> but our woomy world, our woomy world of West. <laughs> yeah. Let's make this manageable. Let's make yeah. this doable. Real world solutions. Yeah. And that really, really all begins with listening, listening to our needs, tuning in, taking a moment. There is a a breath just taking a breath and i'm going to say just here because that might feel impossible but you're, you're breathing all the time so making that mindful making bringing in some consciousness to that breath and in that same moment tuning into what you need and it might be that you need to run for the fucking hills. Am I going to be thrown off a face? Oh, you might early start there, early. Get them in early. <laughs> it might it might look like that. It might be what I need is to just just get away from it all. Uh, so how do we how do we make that manageable? How do we make that real? We we, we shrink it down into um, the let. If we use the language of our of our teachers at Red School, um, it's referred to as the one percent, and and we like that. You know, we like the idea of you just shrink it down to something that is just the smallest amount that we can we can give ourselves and be kind to ourselves in that moment. So, what might running for the hills look like as a one percent? sitting in the loo at work, taking some really, really mindful breaths. Some really a crying break. Breaths. A crying break in the loo. A, a, cry, a crying blade break in the loo, if that's necessary. Yeah, I know, it, yeah. yeah. well, yeah. I think it is, because yeah. it's so hard, it's yeah. so hard. Or to take a step outside with with a cup of tea or a cup of herbal <laughs> we'll, do, we'll guide to the herbal um to, to calm to calm and soothe the soul <laughs> but it it's it really is just looking at the the smallest smallest amount that we can do to help ourselves because that builds because once we tune into that possibility of meeting that smallest kindness that then gives us a bit more permission to 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 make it larger and to make it more possible 
Mm. So we yes. don't suggest burning the house down. We don't suggest running for the hills. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> but it's looking at it in the moment. Mm. And they, you, you, they, so there's two things I want to say about that. These small, small kindnesses, sort of micro moments of calm or crying or moments away. Or screaming. Or screaming. Screaming into a pillow doesn't need to be calm. <laughs> um, they have a habit of um, growing organically. You know, have it, thinking about it in a small sense. I'm quite interested in how to make new habits i think i'm there's lots of research on it um and it, I, it's really interesting and most of them say uh that you have to make small changes for it to be sustainable like so you know the big diet change is never going to go on for more than <laughs> more than a couple of days but making small changes works and that's true for integrating rest and time alone into your life in perimenopause so making small changes and they kind of magically grow you know there's it's, there's something about the small changes that organically expands and the kindness and the rest organically expands into your life if they're small and it also makes them easier to commit to and the other thing about that um the research shows is that to bolt to bolt your change onto um some other habitual thing so um what, what what can i say uh, when when i was perimenopausal just before i picked the kids up i had a rest mm -hmm. so that that kind of winding down from my work day fit which was then at sort of two o'clock I'd, I'd wind down and then um then i'd have my rest and then i'd go go and do the school run and that, that became a, a habit or having an apple after you eat or or going out for a breath after you eat or whatever and that that so so that you do the you do the habitual thing you brush your teeth and then you use mouthwash <laughs> that kind of, you know it's easy it's easy to follow on with the rest if you bolt it onto something that you already do yes oh, bolt on a breath <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 because that breath might be that smallest that simplest yeah moment of kindness. so it's taking it really is it it actually couldn't be simpler because it it's looking at the simplest things that might give you relief, happiness, pleasure, uh, release. And it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be wildly time consuming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it doesn't that, have to be the... that week in a spa or that week on top of a mountain mm -hmm. just may not be that that's not going to be possible. That's not going to be possible at the moment. But uh, that's, it's keeping it, it's keeping it real within the moment and mm. achievable, something that, that doesn't feel as though, because, because so much feeds into rest, there's guilt, there's what you have to do for uh, the people around you, the expectations that are there around you. And so all of that feeds in to, do I deserve to rest? Mm. And that's a conversation that might come out of it, but you deserve to take a breath and you deserve to, to have a drink and you deserve to have a scream into a pillow or let a <clears throat> tear drop. So it's tuning yeah. into. Yeah. And, you know, if you want to <laughs> put, put the scare, do the scary talk, what would happen if you don't? Yeah. If you if you feel if you feel that that you can't, and I know that many of us do, I certainly did. Another way to look at it is well, well, two ways. What happens if I don't? If what happens if I can't even take a breath? Yeah. And the other thing, if if you have children, 
what sort of example am I giving to my children? What sort of what sort of uh, role? How am I role modeling um, self care? Yeah. Your groceries here. I'm thinking. It, I'm thinking. I missed it actually. Oh, I think, I think my phone came and went. went away. I didn't hear a doorbell. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Leora missed her groceries. Yeah, I think it's possible. I can hear it. Children will stop. Go away. Damn. Oh, I'm so yeah. sorry. That's why I'm doing it. <laughs> We're here. Okay. We're unpacking your order. We'll be here in a few minutes. No. Okay. Look, it's magic. I've just been told. Oh, oh, God. It's really modern. It's so modern, really. Right. Shall we? Two days to enroll. Two days to enroll. If any of this makes any sense to you or is, it, is in the least interesting, then we would just love it if you if you came and joined us on our frankly completely underpriced <laughs> really very amazing <laughs> program and if we ever repeat this it's not going to be this price <laughs> because we're you know typically we're o totally over delivering and have upped our support again and yeah it's really Do you remember helpful. when we said we were going to keep this simple <laughs> I know. I think we need to, yeah, have a look, little look at our behaviour <laughs> because we constantly have too it. much passion going into it. So. Yeah. But we're live and the doorbell's just gone. So okay. Well, I am going to run and end. Farewell. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell. <laughs>